So the center, we're just going to pluck the center right out. It's going to be negative 2, 1. So just change those signs. So negative 2, 1 is the center. And I'm going to go graph it as I do it. So negative 2, 1 is my center. And then I'm going to go right and left. Um, and I know I'm going right and left because it's underneath the x. So x controls my right and left movement. So I'm going to go right and left the square root of 9, which is 3. So from my center, I go 1, 2, 3 to the right, and there's a vertex. And 1, 2, 3 to the left, and that's another vertex. And I know those are my vertices because that is the bigger number. So for an ellipse, the bigger number controls the vertices. Had um, this been switched, the 4 up in here and the 9 up in here, the vertices would have been up and down. Um, so I know I'm going to go up and down, only the square root of 4, which is 2. So from the center, go up 2 and down 2. And if they had asked for this, these are co-vertices. So all I do now to graph is just connect those. And I can see, because it came out nice, I can just read the vertices right off the graph. This vertex is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 5, 1. And this vertex is at positive 1, positive 1. So 1, 1, there. So I've got center, I've got vertices. Now I just need these foci. And for ellipses, they get this funky Pythagorean theorem, c squared equals a squared minus squared. So you take these numbers under here, and it looks like you're supposed to add them, but no, you subtract them. So you do 9, c squared is going to be 9 minus 4. And you just always take the bigger minus the smaller. There are no imaginary numbers here. So c is going to be the square root of 5. Now what c represents is the distance from the center to the focus. So... Um, so, and it's always on the same axis as the vertices. So if the vertices are going this way, I'm going to go this way, root 5, and that way, root 5. So for our graph, we approximate the 5 is just a little, square root of 5 is just a little bit more than 2, because it's just a little bit bigger than the square root of 4, which is 2. So 2 over here, there's a focus there, and 2 over there, there's a focus there. And they didn't ask us to graph the foci, so you don't really need to put those there, but you can tell, now that you've done it, where they are. So when you give it the ordered pair, what I like to do when I write the ordered pair for the vertices is I start with the center, negative 2, 1, and I know I went right and left to get to my vertices along the bigger axis. So I take that root 5 and I, since it was right and left, the x direction, I'm going to add and subtract root 5 from the x's. So there's my center, plus root 5, and minus root 5, stick, <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, they have the same y-coordinate as the vertices. So there are my foci, negative 2, plus or minus root 5, comma 1.